Hi guys, there's a lot of chaos behind me. Uh, sick baby is now six months. This is going to be an updated willow pump review slash the things that I forgot to mention in the other um, in the other video. Excuse me, I am running a little cold. Two kids now and I feel like I'm sick at least twice a month. So Let's get on with the video. I know it's been a very long time, but here I am again. <laughs> so I'm taking out the willow pump. So I'm going to do a real time, a real time um, pump session. I did pump not too long ago. I've just been drinking a lot of Gatorade and water for the last like hour or so. Last time I pumped, I want to say it was an hour and a half. So it's 321. <sighs> okay. I'm turning on my location because the pump, I think, yeah, the pump wants your location on in order for you to um, have an accurate session. So turning it on. Okay. There's a bunch of updates that I haven't done for the pump yet for the pump, so I'm going to do that after this. So I have the la the right one, again, and then my left, wait, yeah, with my left. I also forgot to mention in the beginning, or in the previous video, that that there is one charger. You can also buy the char another charger separately do I feel like you need another charger no I don't think so because it doesn't take that long for these things to um, charge it takes about like 15 minutes but what I've noticed is that over a long period of time uh, if you're not using it um, it doesn't hold the charge I that I do not know I don't know I thought it was me leaving the pump on but no, it's not. Just over a long period of time, if you're not using it, it w you do have to charge it again. So make sure that you turn the pump on prior to using it. Because if you are in a hurry and you are wanting to use this pump, you are going to be without a pump. Okay. So I'm going to turn these on. Let's put on the right one first. So, as I'm going through this video, I'll talk about other things too. So I'm going to put the right one on. Um, give me a second. <laughs> Let me put this on. I do. You do need a special bra. Okay. Okay. So here's one. I'm gonna turn it on. See. Look at the little green light. It's on. And then this time you can actually like hear like the noises and stuff so so this is what I get all the time I get this this little blinking light the blinking yellow light and I hate it so my phone senses it and it says check assembly check assembly check connections reassemble and press play I run into this more than all I mean okay all the time every time I try and put on my pumps is it more more than the right than the left? No, it's both. So what I want to do is take it off. This takes forever sometimes, guys. This is what gets me about this pump. <clears throat> take it, check to see if it's the bag, check to see if it's this rubber um, flange. <clears throat> well, that could be it. It's falling apart. Let's see. That's never happened to me before. So, like I said, it's been about six months since I've had this pump. Baby's now six months. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this back on. Put the bag back on. It says not to fold the bag, too, 
but you kind of have to like avoid the metal parts so it clicks onto the um, the actual pump. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so it's green for now. Let's try and do this again. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, so now it's in stimulation phase. Let me click that on. You kind of have to make sure that your nipple is on it, in it, and you can increase the suction until it is out of stimulation phase. A stimulation phase will probably last between uh, two, I want to, I believe two to five minutes or so, and if it's longer than that, then you have to um, adjust it. So there's the right one. That's so that was the fastest that I have actually, um, I have actually fixed the pump. So maybe I'm being recorded and I lucked out on this time. <clears throat> so now I'm going to turn on the left one. Okay. I'm actually wearing a crop top, so this makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to turn it on. So it looks like it's turned on. Make sure the green light is on. Left. Hopefully I don't run into the same issue. You guys, my chest is like massive when both of these things are on. So if you feel like your pump is not in the right spot, then you can actually pause it by hitting that button. And I'll blink mm, white. See, I don't think my nipple was like even in the hole. I don't think my nipple was even in the hole. Okay. Then hit the play button again. That actually feels a little bit better. Okay. So you want a bra that has a like a nursing bra. You can't just have like a sports bra because unless okay, maybe you can, but I feel like that this is a lot more helpful when I'm at work or on the go because I have used a sports bra before and as far as like adjusting and making sure that my nipples actually were the hole is, it's not it's I find this a lot easier. So, since we're talking about the bra, I purchased this from Amazon. So let me find the name of the bra. I, think I bought three, so just in case I work three days in a row at work, I have enough. And I believe they retail for about $19.99 each. It looks like this. Lupa net, and that's exactly how it looks like when you put on the sit down pumps, which I do have as well. So this bra, you can use, you can zip, there's a zip in the front. <clears throat> there's a zip in the front, and then in the back, which I get commented all the time by like my coworkers or my, um, my patients, is there's like a bright like it looks like legit looks like a brace through your scrubs they can actually come off and undo in the back I don't I haven't used that feature for this bra but I don't know how it would come in handy yet and it cross so this bra crosses and then you can actually use it as a um, Strapless? You can use it as strapless and I didn't realize that until now. Eh, go figure. So the straps come off 
And what I really love about this is the fact that like you can put in the, there's inserts for the um, sit down breast pumps. So both, one on both sides. And then in the front, which you had seen me use, is taking it off in the front and putting it back on. <clears throat> so again, this is called the Lupinette. I will link it down below. So my sessions, let's look. So in the app, obviously this is how long. Uh-oh. This is how long it has been going for. They're still in stimulation phase. Um, my right side says six minutes. The other side, the left side says five minutes. So, so I don't know if you can hear it. I'll get a little closer because I get that question a lot if you can hear the pump. In a quiet, quiet room, yes you can if you're on... If you're a nurse and you're on the floor and you're charting on a station and it's super quiet, then yeah, someone can hear it. But if there's like a bunch of background noises, I don't think the patients are listening to it. You know, like you can, it's a very subtle noise. It's not super, super loud. Um, other questions that I get for this is, do you provide patient care with these? Yes, I have. It is noticeable, especially by my coworkers, but I do let my coworkers know that, hey, I'm gonna put my pumps on, FYI, because it would, they, I'm sure that they would wonder why my chest size has grown in like five minutes. Um, other questions that I get is, a question that I've received was, can I wear this in radiology? So if, <laughs> There's metal to these pumps. I suggest not wearing it when you're going to be around an MRI, like a patient receiving an MRI, because I can only imagine the kind of accident that can happen. So don't do that. But I can't say that I have used this to my to my liking. I find myself using the pumps a lot more the sit down pumps a lot more than the wireless ones. I say this because I don't push myself to use these. And the reason being why I purchased these in the first place is because I didn't want to lose my milk supply. Um, there can be other factors to why I don't have as much milk supply as I did with my first, with my first child. Um, I was a stay I stayed home a lot more with my first and with our second child I am working but I only work about two days two to three days out of the week but I do work 12 hour shifts so in the 12 hour shift the most I have pumped is three the least I have pumped in a 12 hour shift is once um, because of the nature of where I work as a nurse sometimes I don't have the time to do that because sometimes it can get super chaotic so has my milk supply dropped when as I went back to, or when I went back to work yes I believe it does because I was able to pump about what 12 ounces 12 yeah 12 ounces at a time but now I'm down to like each session would be about six ounces but baby at six months is now on pureed food so that has helped her keep her sas satiated I'm gonna get laughed at because I know that sometimes when I say words it's not like the, the right pronunciation or so it's not supposed to sound like that <laughs> so a question that I receive is do you still use these I, like I said I don't use it as often that I'd, as I would like, especially at work. I find myself using the pump, sit down pump a lot more. If you're wondering what pump, what other pump that I use is Lansano. Do you recommend these or have your thoughts changed? I didn't, so prior to buying this, I was like, I'm going to use this all the time. 
I'm gonna have so much more time to put these on and not worry about it. I recommend these if you're on the go. If you're not worried about cl the cleanup because the cleanup can be kind of annoying, the drying part of it, because I am such a germ a phobe and I worry about the handling and the washing of these, I would I find myself using the sit down pump a lot more than these. So it's not an easy question. <laughs> Has my thoughts my thoughts have changed about this pump because I find myself using my sit down pump a lot more. Um I wouldn't have bought these. I, I, to my personal opinion and conclusion, when someone has asked me that if my thoughts have changed about them. 13 to 14 minutes so far, still in stimulation. It's good. 0 0.2 ounces out of the left. Do I have a more lazy boob than the other? Yes, I do. And it's mostly, it alternates, I should say. So, other question that I get is, does anyone know if this will work with the Willow 1.0? Also, would it work with the Free Me, Fit Me inserts? I've seen the Free Me, I haven't used the Free Me, but do I know if some of these would work? And I, I, don't, I really don't know. Do I know that if the flange size affects milk output? No, I don't know. Oh yeah! So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new, my name is Sam and I am a registered nurse. Um, I am a mother of a four-year-old and a six-month-old and my goal is to continue to breastfeed my child until she turns one year. So I have started school again today. No, next week is my first, January 12th would be my first day back or January 13th. Um, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna hit the pause button. This is the last one. So I paused it. Take out. So see the. I don't wanna. There's a little bit of milk in it. You see that? So what you wanna do is turn it over. And it's supposed to suck it in. Does a lot of it get uh, sucked in? Not sucked in? Does a lot of it, a lot of milk come out of it? Yeah, but a lot of it I lose because I'm sure that there's improvement for the system. So I open it up. And when I say a lot of milk gets lost, it gets stuck in here. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of milk. I kid you not, these bags are expensive. Ugh. See? Take out the other one. Let me take this one out. Lost it. There's barely anything in this one. There's a lot of mess. It's another thing I don't like. It's a lot of mess. Alright. That concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.